Hello guys and welcome to this video. So as I did promise in my previous video, today I'm going to be comparing the two major pathways through which you can become an accountant. That is by going through a degree and by going through a professional qualification. So if you did miss out on that video, why not check the description section, I've provided a link there for you. So in this video, I'm going to be comparing the two major pathways through which you can become an accountant. That is being through a professional qualification and through a degree. Now I'm going to be doing so using six main criteria that I have, I have personally picked. Now the first being the global recognition, the second being employer perception, the third being value for money, the fourth probability of earning a certificate, the fifth career support, sixth flexibility. So let's go on into the video. So no matter what qualification you have or intend on having, if it is not recognized in the area in which you practice or intend to practice, then you are as good as unqualified. A degree from a credible university is mostly recognized in many countries all over the world, thereby giving you the possibility of taking your career in any way you want to take your career to around the world, depending on the plan you have for your career. This also gives you a large variety of possibilities on how you intend to take your career depending on the plans for which you have for your career. However, some professional qualifications are recognized in one country, while in other countries they are not recognized. For example, the ACCA, for example, is recognized in over 179 countries all over the world, except the USA. And most people intend to take their careers to countries like the USA, to China, or to Japan. But the ACCA is not recognized in the USA. The CPA, however, is recognized in the USA. But in a country whereby the ACCA and the CPA are recognized, the ACCA is placed at a very high pedestal. So it gives you a lot of dilemma on which particular accounting qualification to choose in that kind of situation. Recent harmonization has tried to improve the possibility that most accounting qualifications are recognized in many different locations at the same time. But in my opinion, that is not really working out really well. University accreditations have been given to other accounting bodies to make sure that they also have a master's degree equivalent. But in my opinion, that is not really working out as they plan it to. And for that reason, taking everything into consideration, I'm going to give this round to the degree program. Criteria number two, employer perception. Now, for an employer to fully trust you in order to give you a promotion or a raise or an employment, he should be able to trust the qualification which you have. In locations where a particular professional qualification is recognized, employers will often prefer a professional qualification over a degree. For example, many accounting firms, in my experience, always have a high number of people or a high number of employees who have a professional qualification rather than a degree. Some professional bodies have even gone as far as partnering with the big four to ensure that there is high employability among their, their members. I cannot quite say why there is this difference in perception between the degree and the professional qualification. But however, I'm going to give three main reasons why I think employers have this difference in perception. The first is I think employers really think a degree is less challenging than a professional qualification. Thereby, somebody who possesses a professional qualification has higher abilities or higher possibilities of performing at work more than somebody who has a degree. Secondly, I think employers feel like those who have a professional qualification has a sim have a similar pattern of behavior, while those who have a degree have maybe different patterns of behavior where they cannot really predict. So for that reason, they will easily go for a professional, somebody with a professional qualification whom they know they can easily predict their behavior and be able to evaluate their performances. Thirdly, I think employers feel like the quality of your degree depends on the lecturers and professors who were present during your degree program. Meanwhile, with a professional qualification, an examination standard is maintained and the syllabus are being improved yearly to ensure that the degree, the professional qualification has that high level of reputation. So taking everything into consideration and taking everything that comes with having a professional qualification and having a degree based on the employer's perception, I'm going to give this round to the professional qualification. Criteria number three, value for money. What I mean by value for money is how much does your university or your professional body put in an effort to ensure that you come out with the necessary skills and knowledge to be able to perform at work as an accountant? How much effort do they put in to ensure that you actually improve after your qualification? 
with the professional qualification if you put everything in and go in with the right frame of mind and the right mindset you come out possessing the necessary skills and knowledge that will help you at work to be able to improve and in take your career forward however this all depends on you your professional body is not going to come and ensure that you work in groups or ensure that you do all the assignments that you are, you are being given to you or to ensure that you even have an assignment at all also there are also many test taking strategies whereby people have found ways to pass in examination or with tests without actually possessing the necessary skills and the knowledge that will the test is actually there to evaluate and this gives the possibility that people have leave the particular qualification not actually bear having the skills that is required for the profession this adding to the fact that professional qualification has their tough examination structure as their main strengths However, with a degree program, the exam is not the only thing that you're going to experience. We have assignments, we have group works, we have lecturer appointments, which gives you the chance to be able to learn in different ways and different patterns. Also, most universities have developed other ways of evaluating students to actually ensure that they come out of the degree having the right number and level of knowledge and skill to be able to perform at work. This gives the degree the high possibility of ensuring that the students actually gain the value and they put in the effort to ensure that so taking everything into consideration, taking how variable the degree is and how possible the degree can easily test and follow you up to ensure that you have the necessary skills and knowledge, I am going to give this round to a degree. Criteria number four, possibility of actually earning a certificate. When you get into a program, you want to feel confident that after a particular number of years or a particular number of months, you will actually complete that program and go on to practice. You won't want to go into a program whereby at the end of the day you don't feel like it's even going to be possible that you will complete it and you end up getting frustrated because you have spent about six months or one year or two years of your life trying to go through a program that you will never complete and you end up having no certificate therefore remaining unqualified. From my experience of tutoring professional accountancy programs over the years, I have realized that at about 40% of the students who actually begin an accountancy program don't usually get to the end of it. And this is because of mostly the challenging nature of these accountancy programs. And about 80% of the students who actually finish this examination don't really take as long as they would want to. They usually take longer time to complete this program compared to a degree. And as you will realize, doing half a program is like doing no program at all. You don't have any credits for going through half of a program. You will hardly have any certificate for doing just a few courses in a professional program. Therefore, you end up getting frustrated because you have not been able to make maximum use of the time which you spent in that program. The main question is, are these challenging exams really necessary to evaluate the abilities of an accountant? Is it necessary that you put in a very challenging examination in order to test to see if an accountant is going to be a better accountant at work? I'm going to leave that question for you to answer. On the other hand, majority of those who get into a degree, if not almost all of them, get to complete that degree within the time frame stated by the university. This gives you more confidence when you go into the program because you actually go in working with your classmates knowing that at the end of the day you are going to gain that degree this makes you confident and much more focused because you know that there is a very high possibility that you are going to get a certificate at the end of the day so looking at everything it is very clear that the degree wins this round because accountancy qualifications you usually pose a lot of difficulties when it comes to future accountants trying to get where they want to be by gaining that qualification Criteria number five, career support. Now, most universities do have alumni and they do introduce you to alumni who will help you to give you a support or mentoring on how to take your career forward after graduation or during the process of your degree. Some universities do have programs with their employers or have good relationship with the university's main employers to ensure that there are career fairs, there are other types of programs that take place in school too give you a sense of what the career is going to be like or what the job is going to be like also giving you a chance of being employed after your graduation however when you actually obtain your degree most of this support usually ends there 
maybe it might continue for a few years or a few months but after that you are always on your own this university is really hardly there to give you a hand when you have difficulties in your career therefore the university can give you a hand during your qualification or during the process of your qualification but after the qualification you are mostly on your own trying to figure out things for yourself however with most accountancy bodies you can always reach them at any time you can always talk to them, you can always call them to seek advice on how to go forward with your career or with any difficulties that you face in your career for the rest of your career as long as you are a member of that accountancy body. If you're a member of an accountancy body, you always have access to the research journals and articles that the accountancy body publishes. And this gives you a lot of resources at your disposal and they also give you a lot of updates on how the profession is going and how the profession is changing and many other improvements that you have to make to be able to remain competitive in the job market. Some professional bodies do have emphasis on their CPD, that is Continuous Professional Development, which always evaluate you annually to ensure that you remain competitive as an accountant. This is like a continuous testing process to ensure that as an accountant, you always try to be up to date with your skills and up to date with your abilities as an accountant. Some universities actually try to do this, but given the large amount of graduates and how long some universities have been existing, it is proven to be a little bit impossible because at a certain point in time, some other alumni are usually abandoned and are always out there by themselves in the job market and trying to see how they can improve personally without really getting the real assistance that they would really require from the university. So taking everything into consideration when it comes to the career support, I think the accountancy bodies provide better career support to their members than the university will provide to its alumni or its graduates. So for this round, I'm going to give it to the professional program. <laughs> Lastly, flexibility. When I talk of flexibility here, I mean how much one type of qualification can be expressed as an equivalent of the other. How much an accountancy qualification can be expressed as an equivalent of a degree and how much a degree can be expressed as an equivalent of a professional qualification. Most professional bodies, as a result of partnering with many universities, are able to come up with a certificate of equivalence or something of that sort to tell you that your professional qualification is either equivalent to a BSc or a master's degree. And this gives you a chance to be able to go into a job telling your employer that you have a particular qualification which is equivalent to a master's degree or a BSc. Maybe they would understand that better if they are not really familiar with that particular professional qualification. There has also recently been a lot of partnering between professional bodies and universities to ensure that those who possess a professional qualification can actually go into a university and complete just a few modules or a single project to be able to gain a master's degree or a BSc after their professional qualification, therefore giving them a double-edged sword. However, there is hardly any university that will tell you how much their degree is equivalent to a particular professional qualification. All you can mostly have is the fact that maybe after you have your degree, be it a BSc or a master's degree, you go into a professional qualification and they might give you some exemptions depending on the quality or reputation of the university from which you graduated. In my opinion, I don't think that is even enough because when you have been given these exemptions in a professional qualification, the harder bit of the professional qualification still remains ahead of you. They will hardly give you an exemption from the harder bit of the professional qualification. Maybe the tougher courses or the tougher part of the program still lies ahead and they might give you exemptions maybe for the easier parts or the part that you would probably have completed if you went straight through the professional qualification. So when it comes to flexibility, I would prefer that you go with a professional qualification. And if your professional body is partnering with the university, you can go ahead and obtain your degree after your professional qualification, thereby using one stone to shoot two birds. So taking everything into consideration with the professional qualification and the university degree when it comes to flexibility, I think the professional qualification wins this round. So based on our six criteria of evaluation, the winner is actually uh, it's a tag. So I'm not going to end like this. I would have to say something in order to help you make a better decision when it comes to which part you want to take. But what I would have to say is if you must choose one, you look at all you have to look at all of these criteria and look which criteria applies to you and what path you want to take during your career. And if some criteria do not apply to you, just take them out and look at the criteria that apply to you, try to evaluate them and read them 
and you are able to make a decision on which path you would like to take. I will end by saying that you don't have to choose one. There are a lot of advantages that come in the workplace with having a degree and with having a professional qualification. You don't have to choose one. Try to develop a strategy and a plan that will help you gain both qualifications in order to practice in your accountancy career. You are going to enjoy the privileges that come with having a master's degree and a professional qualification and it's going to help you push your career forward to the extent that you would want to. So it is at this point that we come to the end of our video for today and if you did enjoy this video please put a like or do comment or subscribe and if you have different recommendations on what path you should take please tell me in the comment section we are all here to learn so in my next video i'm going to be sharing the strategies that you can adopt while trying to get your qualification such that you have a better advantage at workplace or in your career when you actually gain your qualification and if you are interested in that video please hit the subscribe button or you can comment or you can hit the notification button when that video comes out. But for now, bye-bye.